Hey, I hope you're doing great today. My name is Jay and in this video we're talking about Lodash. What is Lodash? Simple. It's a huge list of methods that can help you build a lot of cool things. So let's say you're playing with JavaScript and you have arrays. Are you going to split that? You want to split the array in a couple different arrays. You can do that. You can remove duplicates. You can uh, you can do a lot of things. We're going to go to like maybe four or five different methods that Lodash will give us. But there is a lot of things that you can do. So let's go ahead here. Take a look at my code is in the left. I only have an HTML file, JavaScript empty, and we have Lodash here. OK, right now here in the right, you will see the Lodash website. And as you can see, if you scroll down a little bit, you can download a file. You can then um, put it in, in the directly to the browser. You can use NPM if you want to node. So you have all those options. And if you go here to documentation, click there. You can see the list. So for example, array, take a look at all the list of all the methods that you can use collection function. So you can go on and on and on and it helps a lot. So let's go ahead and code something real quick. Um, so first, for the people that don't know, I use browser sync. So I go to new terminal and I put browser sync start the server. And as you can see, it will start one server here, localhost 3002. So that's how it is. Sometimes I do these videos and they're like, I don't get it. How are you in localhost? That's how it is. All right. Browser sync. I'm going to put a link in the description. All right, so first thing, let's go here to the body. Let's um, let's call Lodash first. So it's a script, Lodash. And then after that one, then I do my JavaScript. So same thing, it's gonna be my JavaScript, which is main.js, let's save that. And we are ready to use Lodash. So I'm going to uh, open my console here because I want to see like the results. Now we can go to main.js. And for example, I want a an array. Um, let's call it my list and it's going to be equal to an array. I have a list of things here. I don't know. It can be the, like a grocery list or whatever you want. So for example, this water, chicken, banana, banana, and uh, they're duplicates because we're going to remove them using Lodash. All right. So the first one um, is called chunk. So if you go to the list here, you can see that's the first one. Um, so let's use that one. Let's call this new array. We're going to give it a name, uh, my new array. So or whatever you want is equal to what? Here we're going to start using Lodash. So underscore dot chunk. And now we're going to do the array that we have right there, my list. And then what's going to happen, my chunk is going to split the array. So I'm going to say, all right, I want three of these items on each array. So I'm going to do three. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to console log. That way we can see it. My new array. Save it. All right. Now we have here two arrays with three of those items inside each array. All right. So the chunk is actually doing that, you know, splitting that array in chunks, depending on what do you want. OK, let's do the next one. So let's just remove this. Now, a new array, we're going to use difference. So difference, what's going to do is going to compare two arrays and it's going to say, OK, which one is not in both arrays? And it's going to create a new array with those. Hopefully you understood that, but let's do it and see if that helps. This one is uh, difference. And we're going to do the first one, my array. I mean, my list, sorry. And then comma and here there's going to be a new array. OK, maybe you can get it from a variable. Maybe you can just put it here. 
I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to do, for example, uh, water and uh, banana, which is two of those that we have right here, right? We have um, water here and we have banana. Let's save it and see what happens. All right, and now we have an array of only two things inside and it's chicken and cake. And why is chicken and cake? Because there's the only ones that are, uh, when this array is compared with this array, it's like, okay, we have banana. Let's get rid of that one. We have water. Let's get rid of that one. And um, chicken and cake are not here. So let's create an array with those. And here you go. You have an array with the th two things that are not in both arrays. Hopefully you understood that. Um, that's called difference. Super, I think it's very helpful. Let's do another one. This is the magic of Lodash. You have all this in your hands and you can start coding. You don't have to search or things like that. This one is called intersection. Now intersection was going to do is is going to compare the two arrays and it's going to return the ones that are the same. So it's going to let's do it. Whoops. Um, difference my list and another array here just like we did and we do let's do cake and chicken let's save it all right so now what's doing is the opposite is um, comparing them and he's saying, all right, we have chicken, we have chicken, we have cake, we have cake, let's get rid of those. And what's the rest is water, banana, banana, and water. And that's your array now, that's your new array. Super simple, very helpful. All right, let's, let's use now join. So join is actually very, Simple. It's just actually joining the the list, the whole array, and, um, is, and is using a separator. So let's do that. Let's join. Oh, and it's going to convert it to a string, by the way. So it's going to convert to a string. It's going to add a separator. So let's do that, making sure that you understand when we have the actual result. So join, let's do my list and then comma. And here we're going to choose the separator. So you can do, I don't know, let's say a comma, save it. And here you go. You have water, comma, chicken, banana, banana. And this is a string. Okay. This is not long an array. This is a whole string. Now you can change the separator to whatever you want. For example, this. So you can see it changed, um, whatever you want. Okay. is a separator. So that's very simple, but it works. Next I'm going to do without. So let's change. Um, let's do without and without what's going to do is, um, it will exclude the specific values from that array. So we're going to do very, we're going to be very specific. Like I'm going to exclude, exclude this from that array. Just get rid of it. All right. So let's go my list coma. And let's say that we want to get rid of the banana. Save. And here we go. We have an array with the water, chicken, cake, and the water, no banana. Okay. We can do more. Let's do, let's do cake. There we go. Water, chicken, and water. No banana, no cake. All right. And our last one is unique, which is going to remove duplicates. So for example, we have two bananas, two waters. I want to remove those duplicates. I don't want to have duplicates. So let's do this. 
unique my array, I mean my list, sorry. And let's save it. That's it. No duplicates. We have water, chicken, banana, and cake. No, no, two bananas, two waters. That's about it. So that's load as for you. That's a very, very quick and simple way to start um, using arrays and, and testing here and there. And you're good. You have a lot of other ones that are very useful. So hopefully this helps and um, make you understand what Lodash is and how it works and how it helps. That's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.